A historic and resounding yes to same-sex marriage by Irish voters has made the country the first to approve same-sex marriages by popular vote. In 2008, the International Gay and Lesbian Association estimated that approximately 38 African countries have outlawed homosexuality. I think at this point in time, the lawmakers are the people's representatives, and I think it's important for us to reflect on it. And as an organization outright Namibia, at this point in time, it's quite dangerous to be putting forth the issue about same-sex marriages because there are very basic fundamental rights that are being violated in this country for us as gay and lesbian people, bisexual and transgendered people. So at this point, it's the issue about the right to access to services and the right to be able to access the justice services, and for us to be able to also have the right to information. With the exception of of South Africa, the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people in the rest of Africa are somewhat limited. Point in time, police stations, healthcare services are bringing out their personal prejudice and making our lives miserable. And I think same-sex marriages should be on the agenda, but it's not a priority for us in the movement right now. We need to be able to know I'm able to freely walk on the street with no questions and not people looking at me and questioning the person that I am, but freely to be able to hold my partner's hand and know that I belong to a family and that, that, that I can also create my family out of this enabling environment. And it's important to note that LGBT people are not asking for anybody's level of acceptance, but it's tolerance we're talking about, the diversity we talk about, and it's important for us to understand that we're all different but unique and we all are striving for the best in this country. And whilst many Namibians are conservative in their approach to sexuality, the reality is that there are lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgendered people in our society who deserve to enjoy the same rights as their heterosexual counterparts. We would love to hear your opinion and would like to encourage you to participate in our poll question that will be aired later on in the bulletin. For the News on One, I'm Erica Gebhardt.